Hello and welcome to this final lesson on the competition and inheritance topic. Today we're going to be looking at selective breeding. In the last lesson we looked at inherited conditions. So today I would like you to write the title in your book as you would do any other lesson, selective breeding. By the end of the lesson you should be able to define what selective breeding is, you should be able to explain the process of selective breeding and you should be able to evaluate uh, selective breeding as a process. So our first keyword today or key term is the term selective breeding selective breeding so selective breeding can be defined as a breeding organisms breeding organisms with desired characteristics desired characteristics to produce offspring with those characteristics. Okay. So selective breeding is breeding organisms with desired characteristics to produce offspring with those characteristics. Ultimately, we do selective breeding to get organisms with certain traits, be it sheep with long uh, wool, be it cows that produce lots of milk, be it strawberries that produce large strawberries. Okay, so this creates organisms with desired characteristics okay selective breeding is very commonly used by farmers it's used by farmers to make cattle and plants with the characteristics that we want so we can put here that it's used by farmers to produce uh, certain plants slash animals. So we need to think about how the process of selective breeding works. And to do that, we've got an image on the PowerPoint that looks like this okay and we can paste this in like so we can move it down a little bit over to here so we've got room make it a bit smaller if you want to see it in more detail it is on the PowerPoint and we can put the subheading process of selective breeding process of selective breeding and we can go through this step by step it is on here but we're going to break it down a little bit more so number one is that you pick a characteristic you want pick a characteristic that you want The second step is that you find two organisms with that characteristic. Find a breeding pair with 
the characteristic with the characteristic the third step is that you breed them together so number three breed them together breed them together the fourth step is that you select so number four select offspring with the characteristic to breed again with the characteristic to breed again and finally step five you repeat this over many generations so step five repeat over many generations so we can look at this in terms of the sheep on the diagram the first step is that you pick a characteristic the farmer has picked that he wants long wool because he can shave the sheep in the summer and sell the wool to make jumpers and scarves he's found a breeding pair a male and a female that both have long wool he's bred them together to produce offspring some of which have long wool some of them don't he's then taken those with the long hair or the long wool and bred them together again and done it again and again and again and again and over many years he ends up with a flock of sheep that all have long wool okay now the advantages of this is that you get organisms with the traits that you want so advantage advantage is that you get organisms with the trait that you want or with yeah trait which is another word for characteristic trait that you want there are some disadvantages though okay and the disadvantages include that the organisms often get a genetically inherited disease so disadvantage is that organisms get genetically inherited disorders genetically inherited disorders now this can include this can include such as hip displacement in Labradors. Labradors have been selectively bred to get to the point where they are. And also it can result in breathing problems in dogs like pugs. Finally, we can also say, and it reduces variation. Now, if you can't remember anything about variation, if you go back a few weeks, we did a whole lesson on this.
So selective breeding is where we breed organisms with desired characteristics to produce offspring with those characteristics. It's used by farmers to produce um, certain plants and animals. Those plants and animals will have the desired characteristics you want. To do that, you pick a characteristic you want, find a breeding pair with that characteristic, breed them together, select the offspring that have the characteristic and repeat again. You do this over many generations and eventually you're left with a group of organisms that all have the characteristic that you're interested in. Okay. The advantages of this is that you get organisms with the trait that you want. However, the disadvantage is that organisms get genetically inherited disorders and it can reduce variation. So, what I would like you to do now, please, I would like you to have a go at the questions on the screen at the moment. Once you've had a go at those questions, make sure you've got a different coloured pen, press play on the video, and then we can go over the answers and correct your answers. So pause the video now, write out the questions in your book, have a go. Press play when you're ready to continue. Okay, so you should have had a go at those questions by now. Let's have a look at the answers. So for this first question, you were asked to put them in order. So which sentence should go first, which one should go second, all the way up to the correct five sentences. So it should have gone in the following order. Number one should have been choose a desirable characteristic. Number two should have been select parents that show high levels of the desirable characteristic. The third one should have said breed these individuals. So that should be number three, not number two. Breed these individuals. Next one should be select the best offspring and breed them together again. And then number five, you should have put repeat this process for many generations. So it should have read, choose a desirable characteristic, Root select parents that show high levels of the desirable characteristic, breed these individuals, select the best offspring and breed again, repeat the process for many generations. Five marks. And next questions, and I'm going to paste them down at the bottom so that we've got room, if I can get it to fit. Yeah, that'll fit on it. There. So question two says, describe the advantages and disadvantages of selective breeding. So the advantage, which I'm just going to put with an A, is that we get organisms... with desired characteristics. For disadvantages, you needed to say that we get more genetically inherited disorders. So more genetically inherited disorders and you could have says that there is less variation less variation so by doing selective breeding variation is reduced so for two marks you needed to say for one we get organisms with the desired characteristics and the disadvantages you could have says either there's more genetically inherited disorders or less variation. So number three, it says, a farmer wants to produce large sweet tomatoes. He currently grows two species of tomato, one species that produces very sweet tomatoes and another species that produces large tomatoes, but they are not very sweet. Explain in detail how the farmer can selectively breed the two species to produce a large sweet tomato. So we can say that he can find a plant that produces large tomatoes for one mark for a second mark we can say find a plant that produces 
sweet tomatoes sweet tomatoes for our third mark we can say that the farmer would need to cross pollinate them or breed them together so cross pollinate the plants put in brackets breed them Our fourth mark then comes from saying choose offspring plants with large sweet tomatoes And then for a fifth mark, breed them together. Okay. For your sixth mark, you needed to say repeat for many generations. Repeat for many generations. So to get these large sweet tomatoes, you need to find a plant that produces large tomatoes, a plant that produces sweet tomatoes. You would then need to cross-pollinate the plants, breed them together. You would then select offspring plants that make large sweet tomatoes, breed them together to get again, and repeat for many generations. Eventually, you would have some tomatoes that produce large but sweet tomatoes. Hopefully, that has made sense. You should now be able to tell me what selective breeding is, you should be able to explain how the process of selective breeding works, and you should be able to evaluate selective breeding as a process. If you have any questions, please comment below in Google Classrooms, or send me a message directly, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I will see you in the next video. Take care.